Norman, can you hear us? We can hear you, yes. Tell yes, us what's right going now. on where you are and who this you're is with. University. Right now, I'm just with a group of people who are at the on ramp chanting right now, I can't breathe. They are responding to the officers who came on. They've been throwing tear gas out here at some of the demonstrators, the people walking through here. Very peacefully, I might add. They started the day with the mission of doing this peacefully. They didn't want any of this. So to see this trucker come through here the way it did is upset a lot of people. We saw quite a few people having poured milk, water on their faces to try to wash away this chemical agent that is, quite frankly, an irritant to them. Um, but right now, sir, were you were you on the, were you out, the, what happened? Well, apparently there was a tank that had ran over like two protesters and a bunch of guys pulled them out the tank and then um, they started running pretty much. They ran them over? Um, no, everybody started running and then the cops came and then they like almost ran over a person. They started messing people that were just running off the freeway to get away from the guy at the tank. Okay. And the big question on this is, of course, these highways were supposed to have been closed. The question, obviously, that we're trying to figure out is, how did this tanker get on the highway? You know what I mean? So that's the biggest question that we have right now, guys. I mean, to understand that how a peaceful protest gets interrupted in this way, it's almost inexplicable. I imagine there's some. That's where we are right now. I imagine there's some confusion in the how this has developed from, as you, you know, you were there also near U.S. Bank Stadium at one point uh, for part of your assignment today, so you know what yep. this was supposed to be like, mm -hmm. and here we are, and it's taken quite the yes. turn, not only because of that tanker, but because of the impact of law enforcement showing up, and, and we know how people who have been protesting feel about law enforcement, uh, especially if, when they right. intervene with these situations. Uh, you've been standing there kind of getting a sense and a feel mm -hmm. for the crowd. Uh, beyond talking to just that gentleman in the orange, what else? else have you been hearing as people started to just try to, I'm sure, explain to each other what they've witnessed? What I've been hearing, uh, some of the explanations I had walking up were that people were saying they are deploying this chemical agent against children. I mean, people are carrying their kids around here because they want them to understand what is going on in the world. And they're, they're upset because their kids are also being exposed to this chemical agent. Uh, that's, that's the other thing, Jeff. Um, again, we spoke to the organizers this morning. They wanted this to be an image of peace. They wanted this to show the community and the world at large that when they protest, when people protest and assemble peaceably for this sort of thing, there is absolutely no intent to see what just happened to happen. There, there, it's just not, it's not what was wanted. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate thing. Um, I know we, you've been reporting out in the evenings. Things have, for the most part, when it comes to these organized rallies, remain peaceful. That's their mission. Nothing more than spreading the message mm -hmm. of lifting up George Floyd's name, lifting up their concerns about uh, systemic issues involving police and persons of color. Um, that was their purpose today. Uh, it remains their purpose right now, but with it comes confusion, uh, some fright over what occurred, and then again, anger back towards the police as this this protest where it had come to a, a quick mm -hmm. scary end in ways that I don't think anybody expected including law enforcement and I think that is Jeff you hit the nail on the head these things seem to be coming out of nowhere I mean again inexplicable how does this how does this tanker get onto a highway that's supposed to have been closed and, and come this close to causing so much damage that is again another one of these situations that people are just so confused about so upset about i mean a peaceful demonstration to be interrupted this way jeff as you said it i mean it it, it, it is upsetting it, it's an emotional situation here and give us a sense of where you're standing again because we know david was in the uh northeast area uh, uh, near the southbound lanes where are you right now relative right. to the bridge Right, so we're actually quite near that. We're at the on-ramp to the southbound lanes of 535W um, on University no, Avenue at the moment. No, so very close to that. We have we drove across um, no, further down that way. Like we had seen people coming across the Stone Arch Bridge. We had seen the, uh, the law enforcement cars on the bridge there. And now people are starting to disperse because it sounds like the cops are on their way this way. So we are going to move ourselves uh, just to be careful. Um, but as you can see, Jeff, um, people are beginning to back away. Okay, Norman, we'll let you get to safety and continue to find out more information on your end.